back by the hair on her chinny chin chins. Little pigs, said the wolf, if you don't let me in, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. You still can't come in, said the two little pigs, and the wolf huffed. <laughs> And he puffed and he blew and the house shook and it shook and it shook until the house fell in and both little pigs ran all the way down the road to their brother's house. They got in the door just in time because just as they closed the door, here came the wolf. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, let me in. And the little pigs said, No, not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins. Little pigs, if you don't let me go, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And the little pig said, You still can't come in, wolf. So the wolf took a deep breath, and he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew, and the house shook, and it shook, and it shook, but the house did not fall down. It was made of bricks. It was a strong house, and the pigs were happy. So the wolf, when he couldn't get in, he tried to, to do something else. He knocked at the door again. Little pigs, little pigs, please let me in. I know where there are some turnips. I will show you where the turnips are. The little pig said, you know where turnips are? We like to eat turnips. Oh, I know. Well, where are they, said the pigs. Well, they are on the other side of the hill. But I will come tomorrow at six o'clock, and I will help you find them. Okay, said the little pigs. Well, the wolf went away. But the next morning, instead of six o'clock, the little pigs, they got up at... Five. They ran out and they picked all of the turnips. They had turnip soup. Oh, they cooked and they baked turnips and they ate raw turnips until they were full. But then at six o'clock, the wolf came back to their door again and knocked on their door. Little pigs, I'm here to help you find the turnips. Oh, we've already eaten the turnips. We've been there and come back already, said the little pigs. <laughs> said the wolf, and he was angry, and he started to climb up the side of their house. <laughs> then he walked across their roof, and the little pigs looked up because they could hear him. <coughs> <coughs> oh, they were afraid.